make a guide bush that holds a standard die stock so you can use this on the tailstock guide bar. Now you could use this if you only have one or two threads to chase or to cut and you don't want to go to the, the bother of making a full threaded die stock specially dedicated for that die. It may be that you're just doing two threads and the time it's going to take you to make the die stock for the die is just not worth the while. This is a quick way of converting a standard die stock to use on your tailstock guide bar when cutting threads. So let's go into the workshop and see how we do it. What I'm making today is if you have a die stock and you want to use a die in your lathe but you haven't got a die holder to fit in your tailstock, you can make a quick die holder by using the die stock and turning a blank down to fit in the back. So that's what we're doing today. I'm just making a blank to fit the back of this so I can hold this in my tail stock and use the die stock. So all I'm doing is taking a piece of scrap bar and turning this down to make a guide bush. Putting the free jaw chuck. And the first job is to face off the front. It already has the start of a drill hole, but I don't think that's running true to the diameter I'm using. So what I want to do is centre drill it. do is machine a three quarter inch bore in there at the moment I'm just using drills to bring it up to about a half inch so that's drilled an eight millimeter hole straight through now I'll go up to 12 mil now I can fit my boring bar to bore the hole out to three quarters. That's 0.579, I want to go up to 0.75. Should be less than 10 now in the bore.
0.74 So I'll just check the bar and it's just going that'll do the bore's to size and the, f the face is running through so the next thing I need to do is face some more off to reduce the length of this and then just skim the OD to get this running through. machine this OD down so it fits inside the die stock it's just a little bigger and it just needs to be shorter than the distance inside so that it's touching the back of the face rather than the die a little more That's okay. Now with a small file I'm just going to take the sharp edges off the outside and the inside. I'll turn it round. All I want to do on this side is just face it off. And once more, take the sharp edge off the outside and the inside. So this piece was just a piece of scrap, so now it can be used to hold the die and this side can be used for another die if you have a different size one. First of all, fit in the tailstock the guide bar, which is just a three quarter inch bar with a Morse taper on the end. This is the one that I used before. And as you see, the die that I want 
it's that size where this one is only a small die stock but because I'm only going to use this once or twice I don't really want to go to the trouble of making a bigger die stock so the bush fits in the back of the die stock and then that fits onto your guide bar so now you can use a standard die stock on your guide bar for cutting a thread and if you have a smaller die stock you can always cut another guide on this side so you turn it round and you could use two different size die stocks on the same guide bar and that's just using a scrap of steel that fits on your existing die stock holder and I've just placed a bolt in the chuck I fitted my hand wheel to the back of the headstock so I can just bring the die stock forward lock the tail stock turn the headstock once it engages all I have to do is keep feeding the tail stock forward as the die travels along once you're finished just reverse Well that's the finished item, it's the quick way to use your die stock on the lathe. I hope that was useful, I hope it was interesting and we'll see you next time on Enots Engineering.